Good morning and welcome to Tuesday, the 15th of August 2023, to join with me, Reverend Andrew, for this recorded service of morning prayer. Our readings this morning are Psalm 98 and part of St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 11. As usual, both readings will appear screen share through the course of this recording. So we go into morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all, to be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts, your Spirit ever renew our lives and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Psalm 98, and the response is, The Lord has made known his salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation. <clears throat> Sing to the Lord a new song. For he has done marvellous things, his own right hand and his only arm. Have won for him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation. His deliverance has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and faithfulness towards the house of Israel. And all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. The Lord has made known his salvation. Sound praises to the Lord or the earth. Break into singing and make music. Make music to the Lord with the lyre with the lyre and the voice of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn, sound praises before the Lord of the King. The Lord has made known his salvation. Let the sea thunder and all that fills it, the world and all that dwell upon it, let the rivers clap their hands, and let the hills ring out together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world, and the peoples with equity. The Lord has made known his salvation. A prayer. Lord God, just and true, you make your salvation known in the sight of the nations. Tune the song of our hearts to the music of creation as you come among us to judge the earth through Jesus Christ our Lord. And glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, as now, it shall be forever. Amen. Reading from St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 11, verses 27 and 28. A woman in the crowd raised her voice and said to Jesus, Blessed is the womb that bore you, and the breast that nursed you. But he said, Blessed rather are those who fear, sorry, who hear the word of God and obey it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, today we join with many Christians around the world in the uh, wider Christian family in focusing our thoughts and reflections on the mother of Jesus, Mary. Hence the short reading we had today and uh, that extract we had there from St. Luke's Gospel. And whatever our belief and line of thought about Mary is, and it does vary enormously, as I think we're probably well aware, uh, across the Christian family, uh, the one thing about Mary is we can't get away from the fact that, of course, she brought God's Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, into this world. It was through her that God brought his promises uh, to bear. And that really is a message I want to sort of just share with you a bit more today. God has brought his spirit, his presence into being through our human body, through our human selves. He has quietly and gently matured and developed in the womb. And when the time is right, he was born into the world. And thus God's ways were made known into the world. The blessedness that he talks about there in the short gospel reading is then made known by being born through us as human beings. And the other thing that comes from this is the fact that uh, God needed a human being to make his promises come into uh, to be born into this world. 
God needs us to bring his promises, his ways, his blessedness into being in this world. I think it's a fantastic thought and reflection to hold on to for today. When we say blessedness, what does that mean? It means fulfillment. It means completion, a sense of peace, a sense of harmony, a sense of things coming together and expressing something great and wonderful about the value and meaning of life. That's the best, that's the, the best thing we could ever wish for anyone to have. That's the thing that God wishes us to have. And he's brought that to, to being through uh, the womb of a woman, of Mary. And through that, he has shown that he is with us through the course of this life. He is there with us all the way through to death itself and offering us something beyond death as well. So as we go through today, let's just hold on to these thoughts that God is making his presence, his ways being born through us, through you and me. That's a huge responsibility. At the same time, we have the presence of God through his Holy Spirit to make that really all become possible. Thanks be to God that he calls us into this very high and humbling position. Thanks be to God. Let's move on to the words of the Benedictus. I go back to screen share. Blessed be the Lord and the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This is the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And so let us turn now to a time of prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we share with our brother and sister Christians around the world, as we thank you today, that uh, it was through Mary that you brought yourself into being, or Jesus, into our world. We ask you, Lord, that you empower each and every one of us, especially those who are in positions of leadership in our churches, to be Christ bearers in our world today, to bring blessedness into the world around us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We pray for um, a week that has seen a number of disasters if you're seeing this broadcast uh, fresh uh, on the date, we, we're reminded of the disasters we've seen with the wildfires in Hawaii and the aftermath of wildfires, which are probably still continuing across parts of the world, across the Mediterranean and central belt of America. We're also aware of disasters we've seen on the waters with boat people losing their lives and going through some most heroic rescue uh, organ operations. Father, we pray for all those who are caught up in the disasters of our time, the disasters also of war, for the people of the Ukraine, for the continuing suffering and strife. Although, Lord, if things may have slipped away from the headlines, we know that it never slips away from your care and protection and mercy and love so lord we hold all those again who are caught up in these um horrors that we've seen in this past week may they truly know that you are there lord with them and that you are being born in and you're yes you are being born in them through their lives through their situations you are carrying them through to a new beginning a new life be with them dear lord in their suffering in their uh, despair, a loss of hope, 
a loss of surroundings, loss of loved ones around them in their lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And our prayers extend too to those who are involved in rescue operations and those who have responsibility for formulating policies and uh, responses. Lord, we ask your blessing on all those whom you placed into positions of authority and responsibility, particularly in these situations of war and rescue. Lord, we thank you for the heroic efforts of all the rescue, um, all those involved in rescues directly. Give them energy and strength, dear Lord. And for those, Lords who have positions of power, Lord, give them guidance and wisdom and the energies to put their decisions fully into practice and operation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We pray for those closer to our lives, closer to our hearts. Those, Lord, who need our thoughts and prayers at this time. Lord, we bring to you those whose faces appear perhaps in our minds now. Those who are crying out for help, crying out for healing, for wholeness. Again, Lord, those around us are in despair. Those perhaps who are awaiting results from operations and uh, health tests. Those uncertain around us with life-changing situations going on. Lord, as we ask your blessing on all these people, those close to us, known to us, may they too know your presence around them at this time, this and every day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. So we come back to join in the words of the, or rather to hear the words of today's collect. We pray, Almighty God, who looked upon the loneliness of the Blessed Virgin Mary and chose her to be the mother of your only son, grant that we who are redeemed by his blood may share with her in the glory of your eternal kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we join together in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so we come to the words of the conclusion. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for sharing with me. And I pray that you'll have a good day ahead. And I look forward to being with you this time next week. Have a blessing now. Goodbye.